Hi, Johnny here, and welcome to Birdland. Tonight is our 73rd virtual broadcast. Without further ado, please welcome the maestro Arturo O'Farrell and his Afro-Latin Jazz Orchestra. Thank you. 
Virtual Birdland, week 73. Let me break it down. That's 73 weeks of doing this, of having this privilege of bringing our music into your homes. There is no great privilege. And I got to tell you, we have so much fun doing it. It's hard work, and sometimes people moan and complain. But the truth of the matter is that every week when I watch this a stream with my sister in California, myself in New York, and people all over the world. I'm so filled with gratitude and pride. Thank you for letting us be a part of your lives for 73 weeks. And thank you, Berlin, for partnering with us on this incredible venture. You just heard uh, Mambo that I wrote. Um, and it's a Mambo that kind of mm, acknowledges that sometimes we have mediocrity in our lives. So I called it BS Mambo. Um, the next piece you're going to hear. It's, well, that piece featured uh, Roman Filiu, Brian Davis, and myself on piano. But the next piece you're going to hear is in a marvelous arrangement by the great David Bixler for a concert that we did with Big Chief Donald Harrison. And uh, this is Donald Harrison's composition. It's called Sandcastle Headhunter. And I remember that concert well because it was so much fun to work with Donald, as it always is. And so I think you'll enjoy very much this arrangement of Donald Harrison's composition by David Bixler called Sandcastle Headhunter.
Axel Headhunter, composed by Donald Harrison, arranged by David Bixler, and featuring the great David Bixler himself, as well as Carlos Carly Maldonado, Kezel Jimenez, and Vince Cherico. Um, I'm going to kind of tie some loose ends here together. On September 25th, we're going to be playing at NJ Pack. And we're going to be playing with none other than the Grandmaster himself, Eddie Palmieri. We'll be sharing the stage with Eddie Palmieri as well as Tito Nieves. It's going to be an amazing concert. And for weeks leading up to that event, NJ Pack had been doing some talks with different musicians. And so they allowed me to spend time online with Antonio Sanchez in front of a camera and they uh, offered this as a, as a conversation to their viewers and it was so much fun to get to spend time with Antonio Sanchez. I think Antonio is not only an incredible drummer, an incredible musician, an incredible composer, but it really comes from his heart. And so he has a message for us and, and, and I, I pray that you will listen to him deeply because he's a deep person. He'll listen to Antonio Sanchez and what he has to say. What's more important than the groove? Nothing. Apaga Geysers! understanding that it's not about me or you, that I don't deserve more, that you don't deserve more, that I don't want what's yours and you don't want what's mine. In fact, that's the key to sustaining the groove and that's where that part of Antonio's heart is so big. He's generous with his music, with his drumming and with his message. And really, that's where it comes down to. What we do is hold each other's hands. What we do is move together through the finish line because I can't do it without you. You can't do it without me. And so sustaining the groove means joining together with the Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance to produce a virtual birdland that reaches across the globe and doesn't charge a cent. To teach kids in New York City public schools how to play instruments, to give them the instruments, theory lessons and ensemble experience, to give young gifted musicians in New York City the opportunity to sit in the Fat Cat Ensemble program and study with master musicians like Jim Seeley, Zach O'Farrell, and Bam Rodriguez. So many things that we do together with you when you help us in our crowdfunding campaign, Sustain the Group, visiting retirement homes, community centers, uh, joining hands, joining partnership with Lantern and Mega and building Timbali Terrace and the Afro-Latin Music Arts Center. So many things, so many possibilities. The world becomes a huge possibility when you say, not me, us. 
when you say not me, my people, we're all in this together. So please consider giving to our crowdfunding campaign, Sustain the Groove. It's very important stuff. Uh, this next piece is written by somebody who has always given of his heart and has always been a big, big inspiration to me. I've known Steve Bernstein since I was a young musician and he lived in an apartment on 108th Street and Broadway with like five other crazy musicians. Steve Bernstein is the real deal. Big heart, big heart, big sound. You can hear it in his horn. And so please enjoy this composition by Steve Bernstein called I Need My Me.
Rodney, my mean, Steve Bernstein, Rafi Malkiel, deep soulful vibe, deep soulful vibe. I hope you enjoyed that piece. It's a beautiful, beautiful composition. Um, this next piece we're going to play for you comes from a suite that I wrote called Despedida, which is on my Blue Note debut album, which comes out September 24th. And I hope that you enjoy this selection from it. It's called Intruso. <laughs> Thank you. 
intruso from a live performance at the Jerome L. Green Space in New York City in January of 2019, featuring an incredible orchestra, Chad Lefkowitz Brown on the tenor saxophone. It also featured Jim Seeley, um, uh, Lionel Lueke. Did you hear me? Lionel Lueke, uh, Brian Vargas Tosin, Arabi Sala, and the Afro Latin Jazz Ensemble in Truso. Again, the album, Dreaming in Lions, comes out on Blue Note Records September 24th. Lots of things to tell you about. This week on Saturday the 18th, we will be premiering the world premiere of a commission from the Columbia School of the Arts, a piece I've composed called Mundo Agua that speaks to the reality of water in our lives and in our world. It is written to celebrate the year of water, but let's face it, we're in dire political climate change. Politicians and climate do not mix well, and things are bad. The planet looks very scary, and so this piece was written from my heart. I had trouble writing this piece. I was so personally involved, invested in the idea of the climate and the climate change and what's happening with hurricanes and desertification and such tragedy. So please, conserve water. Be thoughtful. Be thoughtful about what plastics you use. And, and, and just in general, uh, recycle and take care of this planet, please. We, our, our best scientists has, have given us a window of 40 years to turn things around. And if we don't, it's it's already looking bad. So I wrote this piece, Mundo Agua. It's going to premiere uh, thanks to the Columbia School of the Arts on uh, Saturday, September 18th. Sat on, on, then on September 25th, of course, we have a tribute to Charlie Parker and get to share the stage with Grandmaster Eddie Palmieri and Tito Nieves and NJ Pat. Uh, so many other things are happening. Um, I remind you again to donate to the Afroland Jazz Orchestra. Before I close, I always have to thank some amazing, amazing artists who put this together every week, starting with our Associate Artistic Director, Andrew Andron, who's also one of the finest young musicians I've ever met in my life. Incredible pianist. Our great video and content editors, Brian Davis and Ash Jasmineson. And as always, the sound is mixed brilliantly by our engineer, Peter Carl. I want to also thank our Afro-Latin Jazz Alliance executive team, our executive director, Marietta Ulasia, Andrea Thompson, director of development, Eric Taller, director of programming and production, Zach O'Farrell, director of education, Stefan Ande Mikhail, our director of operations, Felipe Tristan, our marketing and communications manager, Gina Soto, our music administration manager, and of course, Isabel Rolston, our individual giving and board associate. Um, we need to thank some very, very special people, the women and men of the afro Land Jazz Orchestra. Roman Filiu, Addison Evans, David Leon, Ivan Renta, Jasper Dutz, Xavier Del Castillo, Larry Bustamante, our esteemed saxophone section. Our mighty trombones, Rafi Malkiel, Mariel Bilston, Abdul Rahman Amir, Ben Barnett, Earl McIntyre, and James Rogers. Leading the charge, those mighty afro Latin jazz trumpets. Brian Davis, Walter Connell, Seneca Black, Rachel Therian, in a rhythm section, always at the beginning of the process, the great Vince Cherico. Bam Rodriguez on bass. Uh, Andrew Andron, you're gonna hear him in the next selection. Just brilliant pianist. Um, Quesel Jimenez, Carly Carlos Maldonado, and myself on piano. Our guest artists this week were David Bixler on saxophone and Gustavo Vidalva on percussion. In the Afro Beats selection at Intruso, you heard the music of Chad Lefkowitz Brown on the tenor saxophone, Jim Seeley on trumpet, uh, Rafi Malkiel on trombone, myself on piano, on guitars, the great Lionel Lueke, Brian Vargas, uh, our bassist, Bam Rodriguez uh, on drums, Vince Cherico, and on percussion. Carly Carlos Maldonado, Kay San Jimenez, and Tosi Mariba Sala. I'm um, going to introduce this last piece in a second, but first I want to thank you again for allowing us to do what we do. We would not be able to do this without people who are giver receivers. Thank you for allowing us the privilege to come to your home every week. That comes from the bottom of my soul. Deepest part of me says thank you to you. I also want to thank Johnny Valente. I, I got to tell you, Johnny Valente has stood... This was a rough week, 9-11, and I remember 9-11, and uh, Johnny kept uh, the band employed for months after the events of 9-11. Uh, terrible brokenness in our city, and all of us who are New Yorkers who were here at that time, 
walked in, in horror and in fear. Uh, and somehow the presence of Birdland was such a was such a framework for understanding our grief. Playing there every week, even when we had three or four people in the audience, was so stabilizing and so reassuring. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you for all you do for all of us. Thank you for this. Thank you for all the people that work at, Gen at Birdland. And most of all, thank you for those of you who patronize live music. You are sacred to us. Um, we also want to thank you. There's no point, really, in, in any of what we do without having you do it for. So do me a favor. If you would be so kind, if you're on the fence about vaccine, it's silly. Like we are in such, uh, 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 we're in such precarious shape in this nation because of vaccine. It's been proven, f you know, for 150 years that vaccines work, and this is a time to put aside our fear and our trepidation. No one's shaming you. No one's. I'm just asking you to save your life because I love you. Don't. Don't waste this another second and don't don't endanger other people, please. And the masking thing and the liberty thing and the people who insist it's all about don't tread on me and da, 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 that's some nonsense, man. People have been masking for years when they are worried about infecting other people. That's all it is. It's courtesy. That's all it has nothing to do with liberties or religious liberties, whatever you think it is. It's just common sense and courtesy. Please. Six feet apart is better than six feet under. Stay positive, test negative, and remember, we love you, we do this, we'll be here for as long as we can. And we're going to close with a piece called Tico, 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 which was a piece written by Seguina de Abreu, arranged by the great pianist Cliff Corman. Our soloists are Andrew Andron, Rafi Malkel, and it also features Gustavo Lidava and the Pandeiro. <sighs> See you next week.
We hope you've enjoyed this evening's performance and we look forward to having you back with us next week. And just a reminder, the Afro-Latin Jazz Ensemble is performing at Birdland every Sunday at 7 and 9.30. For tickets and information, you can always visit us online at birdlandjazz.com. Until next week, good night.